Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of the new build series here on the channel. Now in the last episode we did kind of like a proof of concept where we built this working example of kind of what I was thinking of going towards. So in this episode I think I'm going to start actually building the submarine, kind of getting the most creative point of it, getting the design done uh, and just seeing how we get on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump straight into the workbench. Now, if you haven't checked out the first video, definitely go and check it out and you'll kind of see how we've got to that last design. So let's start off. Now, I'm kind of thinking of kind of like a round shape for the submarine. Very similar design to what we did before with propellers on either side and then two propellers at the back. And we'll use some floats to obviously weigh ourselves down or either lift ourselves up out of the water. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get symmetry mode on and I'm also going to just build a little bit of like a round shape. Okay, so very basic little round shape here. Let's uh, hollow some of this out. Why not? And uh, let's see where we can go from here. So we've got four by four. Actually, that's by five. So let's go and maybe bring it up by one. Okay, that looks a little better. And uh, let's maybe just round it off a bit. Okay, let's delete the inside of this and then we can kind of get an idea of where we're going to go from. So inside here, I'm thinking of having a seat and we'll have a big window in the front of it and then we'll go backwards. Now we need to make sure that we stay within our build area. We can only build 29 long, 11 tall and 11 wide. So we just need to remember that when we're building. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to build it out a little bit. So something like that, I think. Let's build out these pieces here and building with symmetry mode really does just make it the whole experience so much quicker to build. So we're going to build something like that for now. Uh, let's maybe do, let's get the seat in next. So maybe delete some of these pieces out here. And then we're going to place the seat inside here. And I'm going to do a little bit of a trick. I'm going to use a window to seal that off. Let's get a seat in. So something like that. If you get the idea and you can imagine this is going to be rounded, I think. Something like that. And let's round the top off maybe and see how that looks. Cool. So you can see very round design to it at the moment. Let's build the front part. So we're going to have a window going over here. So it's going to go up quite a bit. So about there, let's go and grab a window piece. And let's throw that inside. So we're going to get a large angled window and hopefully put it over here. There we go. And then from there, we'll build the window up. So maybe a three by two, something like that. And you can kind of get the idea of what that's starting to look like. And then from there, we can use maybe some of the corner windows over here like that. And then we can just fill in the blanks, I think. So maybe something like that. And then at the top, we can angle it. Maybe something like that. And then we could do pyramid pieces and then possibly, let's see, we should be able to go with a small angled like that. And then over here, we could maybe slope it. Let's see how that's going to look. Okay, not too bad. Getting that round shape, I think that's the best kind of round shape I'm going to get. Now underneath here, you probably think, well, that's obviously going to get water underneath it. Well, what we can do is if you put that down there and grab a large window and then you put it over there and then you just do that, it looks like it's obviously connected, but it's not. Um, and that actually seals that whole area. Close this in over here. So we could do is we could do something like that. We could even just grab one of these pieces and do something like that if we wanted to. So that way we would get that all sealed in. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Okay, so we've got the round shape done. Uh, we can then move on to the back parts. So I was thinking of doing something like this. And this is where I'm guessing, probably where I'm going to put all the electronics and things here in this back section. And then from there, we would then go possibly like that. And that's where I'm going to have some propellers and things. So if we were to go and get some pivots, We'll get the, let's do the powered ones. And we can put those probably about here, I think. Something like that. Just make sure it's going in the same direction and we'll get some propellers. And I'm thinking of using the azimuth thrusters here. So these are the ones that obviously are going to allow us to go forwards and backwards. I actually don't know if I think, actually I don't know if we even need them to be on pivots. I guess we could just 
do it directly onto onto because we don't need these ones to move these ones will just be telling it to go forwards or backwards so i guess we could just do that and then maybe over here do something to angle it like so yeah something like that i might shorten this down a bit just to make it look a little bit more stocky but that's the idea i've got so far i think it will look pretty cool uh, i also want to have side floats so we're going to delete that off and possibly do that all the way to the back here and then we're going to have floats that are going to go down to about there delete that off float there and then we're going to have something like that and then possibly we can go in one more like that and yeah something something in line of that we could even go one higher with the floats but i think that would be fine i'm just keeping the size of this i don't want to make it too big and i don't want to make it too small either just have to remember the sizes that we have uh we could possibly go one up more so if we were to take that and get rid of some of these pieces inside and then say the float goes there delete this off and put that in there like that a little bit of a mess at the moment but we'll get the hang of it cool i think i'm pretty happy with that and then we'll have a float there and we'll hollow all that out at some point but you guys kind of are getting the idea and we'll spawn this in just now also and see what it looks like that looks good so we've got three blocks here four five six seven eight nine so nine blocks tall and wide we are one two three four five six seven eight nine so we're nine by nine the moment and length i'm guessing around 15 16 so we've got more than enough space i think but you kind of get the idea of what i'm going for quite a little stocky as i said i might shorten it down but i kind of like the look of of how it's going at the moment so let's just go and fill all these blocks in that we need to fill in now those flotation blocks which i'm putting here at the bottom these ones i'll be able to actually empty and fill so when we want to obviously rise up to the surface we will empty those and when we want to dive we can go and fill them up with water and how i'm going to do that i'm just going to actually hollow them out as you can see me doing right now and we're going to go underneath like that we're going to go in the front here too we're going to go at the top here we're pretty much just going to hollow it completely out and then we will use slope or wedge pieces like that to go and fill this in and make sure that it's completely empty inside so something like that so i'm pretty happy with this let's grab some spotlights because we will have some spotlights and i think that might be a perfect location to have two over there yeah it doesn't look too bad so far we also do need to find some space to add the propellers in because remember the whole the whole example that we have has got these propellers on each corner for it to go and stabilize itself so we need to add those in so i'm probably going to add one over here and maybe another one at the back somewhere maybe over there that could work or maybe just make this look a little more prettier over here so we could do trying to think of something to make this look a little bit nicer so maybe a one by two pyramid and then if it will let me drag it something like that we could do and at the back here i'm not too sure how i want to transition this yet that's what I've got so far. And then I guess we could use the electrical motors on top of those propellers. Don't know if we need, I think we do need gearboxes. So I'm going to put something like there and maybe something like there. Bring this back by one, maybe grab a gearbox. And that way we don't chew through our battery. Something like that and like that. And then we can use some pie pieces to close that in like that cool let's get a hatch in because obviously we need to get in and out so maybe put a hatch electrical hatch or sliding uh, let's just use a normal one i don't think we need a electrical one so i can put one over there that will allow us to get in and also get out and i'm thinking of being able to get in and out while we're under the water so i don't mind this area actually getting flooded so we'll have to add some pumps and things to obviously shoot water out of that uh, for when we do want to obviously open it all up inside here i want to get rid of these pieces on the sides i think so that means i can't actually do that which i was thinking of earlier 
So we're gonna have to think of another design for that. So let's see. I want to have instruments and things like that on the side. So maybe inverse pyramids over here could work. Could do something like that. Yeah, why not? And then at the back, we could just do exactly the same. Invert it, stick it down, and then close that area off. You get the idea so far of what I'm thinking. Here is where we'll have all our electronics and things here at the back. We could even slope that up and then maybe add some type of... It came here. We could maybe add the... Let's see if we were to go and put the control surfaces there. So the fin rudders. Just remember to don't have the symmetry mode on when you place those down. And then we could come back, do something like that. Very bare bones at the moment, but you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm going for. Kind of just building as as we go. And that's the whole joy about Stormworx is you can come in here with no plan at all and then end up with a creation, which is really cool. So yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that design so far. Inside here, we can then put some panels and things or some controls on there, controls on there, and then possibly even put some displays over in the front like over there so that when we're sitting we can look at those we could also remove those and put maybe inverse pyramids just to make it a little bit more smoother in here so something like that and then these pieces here do we actually need those no we don't we can actually get rid of those we need these no we don't we'll get rid of most of those except that one we'll keep that one so maybe go into pyramid shape like that and then we could even round we could round it off just to make it look a little prettier inside there we can have some equipment at the back here if we need to we could even slope this piece here if we wanted to something like that yeah not bad we can even add some seats for extra people which could be an option if we can get rid of this maybe just go directly into that yeah that looks good we need to paint this at some stage. But I kind of like how this is going so far. Maybe even just for some more detailing, maybe do some pipes here with, I don't know, some electrical motors, something like that. Not too sure we might remove that. But um, yeah, I think I'm quite liking that actually and how that's looking. Cool, let's go and actually just spawn that in. I want to see what that's going to look like. I don't know if it's going to float or not. But uh, let's spawn in, let's just see how it's going to look. Cool, so we've just gone and spawned it in. And <laughs> look at that. Nice little submarine. I like, very nice and cute and small. And I think that would be perfect for going down to the ocean floor with. As I said, really nice and small. You can just get inside it. We've got everything we need. We've got a little bit of monitors here for some information or stats. We've got our spotlights there. We've got some spotlights at the top. We can see our propellers moving. Hopefully they don't get damaged. But that looks, yeah, I'm pretty happy. And then, for example, when we want to then exit, we'll maybe have a button here to fill this whole space, and then we can then get out. And when you close it, then maybe it automatically drains. We might need something to jump out of this, maybe a handle or something, because as you can see, or maybe just a step here or something, because as you can see, I can't really get out of it. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking so far. Really nice and small and compact. And just overall nice design, I think. Uh, I do want to add some bars around it just for protection purposes. So what I'm thinking is maybe if we were to add some pipes. So if we were to do, let's see, we still have all this space to work with. So we could possibly do something like that, like that. Let's see, maybe there, there, there. And then we'll put some other pieces in just to join it to the frame because at the moment you can see it's kind of just hanging there uh, maybe even move this one forwards a bit so something like that bring that one there that one there that one there there and we could even thinking of getting rid of that and doing something here just to make it you know, a little bit different Cool. So if we had those like little supports there, 
we just spawn that in and then just bring it back into the workbench and then grab into our mission editor again okay so that's with the frames now i think that frames make it look pretty cool on the sides kind of adds a little bit of protection we can have some stuff hidden inside there too some equipment and things but i kind of like the idea of this so far you guys let me know what you think of the, of the design i think we'll be perfectly fine i want to actually see how this thing is going to float now i think that's going to be my next next thing so let's go and jump back in here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to enable the world view and i'm just going to move it down so it doesn't drop when we spawn in and let's put it at the back here so we can actually see that uh once we've got that in i'm guessing this thing is probably obviously going to sink because we haven't closed it off yet so let's go and close the actual front windows there so that doesn't sink straight away okay and now i'm guessing we've got a lot of buoyancy underneath it so it might just topple over we've got quite a lot of weight at the top so i'm probably going to get rid of those electrical engines i don't need them uh we could use them i guess to obviously power that but for now i think that'll be fine let's just spawn in let's see what happens yeah you can see too much weight at the top so the buoyancy part just went straight to the top so what we can do to counter that is you can imagine we're going to have a whole bunch of batteries and things underneath this so we can obviously add more weight so let's go and add some more weight so maybe about that much let's see if it can handle that much weight yeah that's not bad i don't want it to be too heavy i don't want it to be too light either but i think that level out of the water would be perfect for getting inside and getting out of it as you can imagine we would go down there we would get in we would close it we would be in there and then we're in our submarine and we can look around quite easily yeah that's not bad as i said we'll get rid of those weights because we will have batteries and we'll have obviously all of our components and everything else inside there so it definitely can work i think not bad so what i want to do now is let's delete so uh, i guess we can leave these blocks maybe yeah let's figure out the whole worst system of how we're going to fill and empty these ballasts now as i said i was hoping to use one pump for this whole thing maybe two pumps yeah let's do two pumps so what if we were to do the pumps over here so one there and one there and we're just going to go into there and then this one will go into there and they will actually all connect up to each other at some point like this and we just use the same ports for either filling or taking fluid out i think that would work quite well delete that off delete that off close that in close that in close that in and then just use some corner enclosed pipes for that so let's find those little angle ones so one and two and then that we can do to fill the ballast and unfill the ballast and we can even add a third pump here possibly then to obviously fill and empty our main cabin that we'll be working with so let's add some batteries on this i'll on test to see if we can sync that we should be able to it should be relatively easy let's add batteries over here for now we'll move those around i just want to see if we can do this so electricity just go and connect those to those pumps let's do one onto there two over there and one is for let's see one is to bring fluid out and two to bring fluid in so two would be in perfect so we've got batteries connected to those two pumps we've got the connectors connected to those we can test that we can even put a little fluid meter inside here if we really wanted to so actually, let's try and do that so fluid meter one over there and another one over here and then we can just get some dials just once again this is purely just for testing purposes we will delete these things later on i just want to see if this does work it should do but um, always useful to do testing okay so we do those connect this one over to there and connect this one over to there that looks a little better and let's jump on it let's get inside before it tipples over let's close the hatch grab inside there again so two is in, so then these should be filling up with water. Cool, that's filling up quite quickly.
That one's full. That one looks like it's still going. And we are sinking, which is perfect. Great, so they each hold about a thousand liters and we are sinking, so that's almost perfect. And once we want to obviously rise up to the surface again, we would then go and take two off, put one on. We would empty those with the help of propellers once again. And then we should be able to rise up to the surface. Cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. Guys, the weight balancing, we need to sort that out. We'll have to sort the weight balancing out, but not even going to start looking at that until we've got all the components in there. We've got the battery, we've got everything laid out. I'm not worrying about the balancing or the weight or anything like that just yet. We're going to get the design done. We're going to get all my equipment inside there. I want to do all the logic, all the systems. But in terms of design, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, in terms of lifting the cargo, that's another thing we're going to have to look at mostly in the next episode. But, um... Yeah, I think that's probably a great place to end this episode off with. We've done a nice little design, very nice, quick and easy. You guys have seen my whole design process for this. Um, and yeah, it's, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to obviously get this thing up and running and actually do some test runs with it. But um, I'd love to hear your guys' comments in the video description as always. Let me know what you think of this. What other features do you think we should add on to it? Do we really need some arms on here for the submarine? I don't think we need arms on the submarine. But um, I'd love to hear your comments. And as always, I hope you have enjoyed this video and for not entertaining and informative as always. Until the next one, we will see you there.